my 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 gemini what is going on baby it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again yes indeed yes indeed to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for mid may 2019 thank you so much for clicking this video shout out hey 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 to all my new subscribers Thank you so much for sending me love, light, and positive energy. I feel it. Thank you so much for all of the love, all right? If there is anyone <clears throat> who would like to book a personal private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, all you need to do is click that About tab, and you need to book and then link, okay? So what you need to do is click that hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me, and um, select your reading, book your reading, and then double back to that page and link up with me. You will see a link from my Instagram, all right? You have a selection between Instagram and Google Hangouts. If you do not have an Instagram and prefer not to use your Instagram, you can just download Google Hangouts and use my email, which is Scorpion and reds at gmail.com and we can connect on there okay so on the selected date and time that you have requested for your reading we will connect at that date and time now if you prefer not to get on the camera or if you want a video recap if you would like me to record the experience and upload a private link of um the recording to youtube for only me and you to have access to it um only thing you need to do is select while you're in the menu the add-on it says video recap um slash uh video upload so you use that add-on if like i said if you want a recap video and if you do not feel comfortable getting on camera um what you need to do book Add the add-on, link up with me and say, hey, Reds, I don't want to get on camera, but this is what I want to know. And make sure when you tell me what your question is or your questions are, um, do not tell me the situation surrounding your question. Only tell me what you want to know. So if you selected two questions, let me know what your two questions are and just that, okay? And then I'm going to have your video uploaded and we're going to be good, okay? So just keep in mind, though, that when you select that, direct upload we won't be able to interact back and forth like we would with a private reading but you know that is an option because i do understand some people don't feel com comfortable with getting on camera um if you would like to send some love to the page i want to say a big shout out to my girl kylie she used the um amazon wish list and she sent this to me i got this on mother's day and i got the knock on my door at 1 11 p.m on mother's day and i'm trying to tell you that it's a blessing and i've been using this deck personally for myself in the morning for personal private messages and that deck has been a personal blessing to me not only is it an addition to you know the um messages that i can give you guys on this page so i greatly appreciate all of the love that you guys have been sending so if you would like to send love to the page if this video resonates and you just want to send you know a dollar or two just to say thank you or like i said if you would like to you know just surprise me with something off of that amazon wish list you can do feel free to do so and I am ever so grateful. You guys just don't even understand. Because of the love that you guys have been sending, it made it possible. That tea reading that y'all love, y'all made this possible. So, you know, thank you so much for all of the love that you guys have been sending. And again, if you want to send any love to the page, you can do so. The links for my Amazon wish list and my um, PayPal is in the description and on the About tab. All right, Gemini, let's get into the reading, baby. Let's get into the reading, baby, okay? Okay, thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here today. Um, thank you so much for blessing the sign of Gemini. We got many, many blessings in the year 2019, and we thank you abundantly for wrapping your hands around us and holding us tight and walking with us throughout this journey and this path, Father God. Thank you so much for waking us up every day, feeling refreshed and renewed and just, you know, fighting through whatever troubles and just, you know, triumphing over everything, and I appreciate everything that you've been doing in our life father god please give us guidance for the sign of gemini thank you again for all of the blessings and lessons in the past present and future please give the sign of gemini guidance for may mid-may 2019 thank you again father god give us guidance for the sign of gemini let's find out what your spirit number is for mid-may 15th through the 31st says time out in parenting okay all right 
So what I'm getting here, time out and parenting. I'm basically with that purple there, that's that crown chakra. I feel like you need to the crown chakra and this is the solar plexus right here. You see, so the solar plexus, the crown chakra is understanding, of course. You're getting your mind together, of course, of course, of course. Now the solar plexus is about doing what you know is right. You know what I'm saying? Because your solar plexus is the chakra that enhances the flow of the energy throughout your body. So it's like once you get your mind together and you know what you got to do, it helps circulate that energy throughout your body to bring out the best results and the best product that is needed for you with your alignment. You know, what's aligned with you right now and what's aligned with you something that you need to wrap your head around that crown chakra coming to some type of understanding and the crown chakra also deals with healing with personal losses and grief you know so it's like it's the time it's time for a time out it's time for you to get some understanding wrapping your mind around that and it's time for you to actually know what you got to do and use your energy behind making that happen. And Spirit is trying to tell you it's time for a timeout and it's time for you to focus on parenting. This here, this is the throat chakra. That's the throat chakra, right? Let me see. Yeah, this is the throat chakra in the third eye, as well as the main chakra representing here being the solar plexus. So this is doing more of the parenting more of your energy being focused on you doing the act of parenting not only just that but using your third eye chakra able to see and speak your intentions you know so it's time for something to happen it's a timeout it's time out time for something you know you need to come to some type of understanding about that and you know Get your energy circulating about that. Get your energy circulating about this parenting. It's certain things, something, something is getting cut out so that you can focus on parenting. Okay. Give me guidance for Gemini. Just got in time And I want that to be the sun Go in the sun Okay, I don't know why I, st I stopped to look at this But this looks like Someone might have walked away And someone is looking back at what was lost, you know And this person is gone And it looks like there's been a stop A halt in communication but that's, I'm just shuffling, but I don't know my eyes, like. Give me guidance for Gemini. Y'all might have stopped communicating with somebody. Either you walked away or somebody walked away from this situation. And it's, yeah. It's like either you walked away or somebody walked away. And it's whole situation is been put on a pause right now so someone could focus on oh shit is this the three of swords it motherfucking is the three of swords yeah someone there was most definitely a fair there was a fair okay and i feel like someone is finally taking the swords out of their heart and they're trying to mend their heart and they just put this whole situation on time out so they can focus on parenting yeah you don't move the fuck away you don't took your kids and you don't move the fuck on yeah, y'all said fuck that shit. I could get love elsewhere. I love myself. Mm mm. Death card. Y'all gonna be dealing with a Scorpio. Y'all ended that shit. Y'all ended that shit. It's like I love myself too much. I gotta. I'm giving myself that. I'm moving away. I'm giving myself, me and my kids that love. I'm ending that shit. It's done. It's done. I feel like you might be communicating this shit very rapidly to someone. There will be no. <laughs> like whatever beginning you thought was about to happen here that shit is done knight of cups i'm drinking my own like i told you i'm drinking my own cups i got my family and i'm happy with my family right here you know it ain't nothing for me to be in to contemplating about trying to think and heal and get myself together about no more i already know what the fuck i'm no 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 gemini 
Huh. My, 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 Gemini. I don't know who the fuck they thought they was playing with. You told these motherfuckers, um, I'm calling it quits. How about no? Fuck time out. How about we just done? <laughs> okay? I'm focused on my kids. So, listen. You know, I don't know who the fuck you cheating with or whatever the fuck you doing. Go do it. I'm over it. Okay? So, you might have got some help from your family, your, your uncle, or somebody. Somebody helped you pack your shit up, grab your kids, and get the fuck, okay? Because you're like, I'm getting me and my kids away from this shit because this shit is not mentally healthy for me, okay? And actually, I feel, no, actually, you found a new love. No, it's like, someone cheated on you, there was a third party relationship, or and or you were cheating on somebody, and you're no longer in love with the person that you were with, this person that, this new person that you're in love with, help you mentally get over this other situation, shit, I actually think that the person you was with was cheating on you, they initiated the third party situation, right, they initiated the shit, but you finished the shit. <laughs> hey, Mo. They initiated the shit. You was like, you know what? Two could play that party. Two, two could play this game. You got your mind together to pull them hearts out your goddamn chest. Wrap that shit up. Find you another motherfucker to help you move on and get over this shit. And you in love right now. <laughs> you in love right now. You communicating to this person that, that was thinking that they was cheating on you. Guess what? Listen. You know? I wish things could have, uh, you know, turned out better, but fuck you, I'm taking our kids, and I'm leaving, okay? So you might be sending a lot of fucking nasty communication to this person, letting them know that bitch, huh, I found love somewhere else. Listen, I'm not tripping on you cheating on me, bitch. I found love somewhere else. That's why I'm ending this shit with you anyway. So how you like them goddamn daggers in your heart, bitch? Okay? Who the fuck you think helped me move the fuck out of here? Or why the fuck you think I put you out? You think I just put you out because you was cheating? Because I was getting over shit from you cheating, bitch? I got my own motherfucking situation, bitch. So good luck with that. You thought I was motherfucker her? No, bitch. I'm good at than a motherfucker, okay? Over here. Look, death creates new birth okay huh ashes to ashes to dust to dust bitch i don't have no time for nothing with you okay so this person is communicating this very vigorously and they ain't goddamn too nice about it i don't fucking think about it because the way i'm feeling right now bitch fuck you so <laughs> no no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Cause at the end of the at the end of the day, all the effort that that person did, I feel like the situation might have moved a little bit too fast, and y'all might have, you know, I feel like the situation might have moved too fast, and it y'all might have resulted a, a family might have been resulted out of it, but you good like you're emotionally fulfilled you're wholeheartedly happy because i think that the fact the fact that you're a parent i don't know if you're a new parent or something like that how many kids do i see i just see one baby yeah i feel like you're a new parent i feel like you're just happy at the fact that you're you're a new mother you know what i'm saying or maybe that you no this person has a whole bunch of kids how many kids is this? Three? Okay, so you might have just, you either might be a new mother and or you already had kids and you just really wanted another baby. And I feel like you're just happy and you're giving your love to yourself. You're giving your love to yourself and you're focused on your family because that's what brings you happiness. And I feel like you're done healing. You learned a lot throughout this situation and you put this shit on pause. I think you focused on ending that situation and finding new love. You got a baby out of the situation and you put that situation with that person on time out. And I mean, cause I don't even see whoever the fuck it is that you dealing with it and spread it all. I see you drinking your own cup. You enjoying your time with your family. You done with your healing. You opening new love. You had someone to help you throughout this situation. Like you, come on now, Gemini. My, my, Gemini, who is this person? Who is this person that 
help Gemini throughout this? Who is this person in this boat with Gemini? Oh, shit. That's just... It's the main female, Gemini. The main female. The house. Pathway. Sudden wealth. Okay, so I feel like in regards to y'all moving, you moving, it's just like, you know that like, me by myself, I'm single, I'm successful, I'm good on my own, you know? Like, I'm good on my own, I'm balanced, I got support, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I know how to use my intuition, and you know, I'm rooted, I'm, 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 I'm grounded, you know what I'm saying? I just, I got my life together, you know? I feel like you got your house in order, you know? I feel like you're on a brand new path. New beginnings, you're on a path to new beginnings. And I feel like you just, you feel like that you're going to have a lot of blessings. And there might possibly be a spark of sudden wealth coming to you because you made this move, you know? Because you made this move. Give me guidance on this Knight of Cups. Because you might have been dealing with a, a Knight of Cups. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and you definitely see Scorpio right here with this, um, the Death card. Um, and I see, I see, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. I mean, I see everyone here. Poverty. This Knight of Cups, I mean, this, um, yeah, this Knight of Cups. Broke. Family room. Message of concern, courtship. Hmm. I feel like in regards to this Knight of Cups right here, I feel like this person is very self-consumed right here. This Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you're dealing with possibly is Scorpio. Because this person, this person I feel like is, is I feel like Possibly the only reason why this person connected with you because they were going through a lot of poverty and they were trying to find another room to, like, lay in. You know what I'm saying? Like, they needed a room or something. You know, like, family room. Like, they were looking for a new family or something. Like, they were extremely poor. Or they were going through something really bad or... Then maybe they were homeless or something and yeah I feel like this person was homeless but I feel like this person could possibly be a drunk you see how this person is drinking this cup like that I feel like this person might have substance abuse issues probably does a lot of drinking or uh, drugs or something like that but I'm seeing a lot of drinking but yeah this person and then you see the black cat right there and this person just has a lot of bad luck surrounded them. And I feel like they brought that into your house. They brought that into your house. And I feel like you might have received a lot of messages from people. Messages of concern about this person being in courtships with other people. And then again, that is the Knight of Cups. So I, I, I feel like, yeah, with this Knight of Cups, this Cancer, this Pisces, or this Scorpio... And like I said, it could be, it could be, I mean, it could be any water sign, but I just see that Scorpio, the only like people cards I'm seeing is the Scorpio and the water sign card. But I just, I honestly, I feel like this person was looking for a place to stay. They were homeless. And I feel like even though that you allowed these people in your family room, they allow, cause yeah, I feel like you already had a family. You already had children and things like that and i feel like you allowed this person in your house and i be, and i feel like they didn't they didn't bring anything to the table um because i still feel like there was th there's still a, a lack surrounding this person and i feel like this person really didn't help you financially with that much because they act like they were so poor but yet you allowed them in their home and then 
The whole time you were there, only thing you kept doing is getting messages after messages after messages that they out there dating and dealing with other people. And that's, you know what I'm saying? That, that definitely uh, <laughs> makes me understand that Three of Swords, I mean, because, yeah, it was most definitely third party cheating there. And you have cut this person out, I believe. It's, I mean, I don't see, I don't see that you're dealing with this person. You've moved on, and you're focusing on taking care of the kids that was probably produced out of this, out of y'all's relationship. Because it does look like someone is taking their child and they moved on, and they're in another relationship where they find peace. They found somebody else that they found peace, and they just coming through, just like unfortunately, like the Grim Reaper, rah, 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 rah. like they rocking off to it to, to whoever this is. Let them know, like this shit dead here. This shit dead here. You was out there being motherfucker playboy and shit. You was being playboy and stuff like that, and shit. While while we had our family here, and you was out there gallivanting and doing whatever the fuck you want to do. But I'm healed from that shit. I'm done. The three little witches. I mean, the two little witches. Magical space clearing time. So let's see what that says. And I was in the reverse, so I don't know. Does this have reverse meanings? Let's see. No, it doesn't. So this means here, it says, make the mundane work for you. It's time to conduct house clearing, followed by a house blessing. Here's the easy pointer. New locations, either the smallest of changes or household objects or rearranging what goes where in your room. Or an entire move is very much so on your mind when these twin witches show up with their brooms of power. If there is anything keeping you back from making this change, please make small, useful, but symbolic gestures. Shifting the furniture around, cleaning away what you no longer need. Whatever we make change, we also rediscover stuff we've been hanging on to. Stuff that's been weighing us down without us even realizing it was there. It's time for space to be cleared for you. So... You guys might be moving. I've, I've already said that you guys are moving. Or someone is might just be helping you mentally move on in love. But there's a good chance that you guys are just like, I don't even want to be here in this house no more. <laughs> like, you know. Um, and that does make a lot of sense. Because this main woman in this house I feel like you guys might have moved to a new house because this is right above this heartbreak and y'all moving on you know someone helping you move it matters of love but it looks like location wise too like you guys might have got the fuck up and just moved like because i like you just didn't even want to be in that space anymore someone could have cheated with somebody in your home you just like, I don't even want to fucking be here anymore. I'm taking my family. I'm moving. I just feel like you just ain't even like that energy that was in that space no more. Because I feel like someone disrespected your home. Someone disrespected your home. It's like either someone sending you a message of concern or you found something in this family room that gave you messages of concern that this person was court in someone else I'm possibly in your fucking house and that's why you like oh, I'm getting this motherfucker out of my house I'm getting this motherfucker I'm just I'm getting out of here period time out I'm focusing on my children we're moving like you just don't want to be there no more I wish a motherfucker would have somebody in my motherfucker house if they did they better be very lucky that I never found out about it I'm telling you that. I wish a motherfucker would. The ace of coins on the reverse. I feel like um y'all just feel like y'all just had like a big. I feel like y'all just feel like y'all in a money pit or some shit like that. Like you just took a big financial hit and it's just something happened with I just heard block my blessings blocking my blessings like something happened where you just feel like the five of coins and the five of cups damn 
Damn, baby. Fuck. What is this? The Page of Swords. The wi oh my God, Gemini baby. I'm so sorry. Oh man, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm sorry, but I just felt like this. I just had to take a moment. I feel like I feel like there was like a lot of immature like back and forth. It was like a lot of immature verbal um arguments with each other. Um we all were like sending messages back and back and forth. It could be back and back and forth with these other lovers. You went through that shit a lot. I feel like you were like looking online a lot, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on because I feel like you were offered this Ace of Pentacles and it just was like there was something that was just blocking your blessings and you had to just see what the fuck is going on and why this shit ain't taking off the way I want it to. You know, like we should be getting off the ground, like things should be good and like things just wasn't. You know, you just felt like you felt so much misfortune. And right now I feel like you're in a you feel like you're in a bout of misfortune with this five of pentacles. You feel like you're going through a financial turmoil right now. This person cut you out, left you out in the cold. This person This person, this person, this person. Mm, mm, mm. And this four cups knocked down. I feel like this person might have cheated on you with like four four different people. Like it was four different situations that happened that broke your heart. Like this person cheated on you and cheated on you and cheated on you and cheated on you. And then this person just left. Like I feel like this person left you and found new love. I feel like this person left you. I mean, but clearly I feel like, I mean, I, 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 I do feel like that there is some Gemini's that this person was cheating on them. Listen, this person offered you commitment. It didn't happen. You went searching, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on because you felt like after somebody was, you, this person had somebody in your house or so someone was sending you messages saying that they was dating the same person that you was dating. This person lived with you in your house. Do you understand what I'm saying? Y'all had, y'all were together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all started a new beginning in life together. And like I said, parenting is right there. So you probably have kids with each other. And I feel like there was a lot of immature arguing with these people that this person, like, this person was sending a lot of passionate communication to several different people. And then this whole thing was a very misfortunate affair. It was a very unfortunate affair. You felt shut out. You felt left in the cold. And this person cheated on you with four or five different people. And I feel like right now you are just suffering and heartbreaking. Right now you're trying to get over the heartbreak. And if you, I, I do for, I do highly feel like there is a Gemini that this person was cheating on them and they said, oh, okay, bitch. And you went and found your own little motherfucker slide and you slid the fuck off. And now you sending this person messages like, nigga, fuck you. I got somebody else anyway. I'm drinking my own cup. I'm with my family. I'm good. I ain't even tripping on you no more. Time out. I'm focused on my parenting. I ain't got time for you. I done moved. Whatever. Whatever you had at that old house, you better go buy you some new shit because I moved out. Like, I'm good. Like, fuck you. Don't message me no more. Like, I get that. But then I also get that it's someone trying to heal. It's someone trying to heal. And they got a bandage over their heart and their family is helping them move because I feel like their house was disrespected. And, you know, you know that if you just move on... Just find new space, a brand new environment that is going to bring in a sudden burst of fortune. I feel like you still focused on love, but 
I feel like you are trying to work on ending communicating with this person because you know that there's with that ace of pentacles and reverse up there again like you know that this is not going anywhere you know that this person has a drink drinking problem he's self-consumed this motherfucker ain't got no money and you let this person in your house because you felt sorry for them and shit like that but only thing this person did was cheat on you with other individuals and shit like that and you know put you through a whole bunch of drama and that's why you're cleaning this situation out of your life only thing that came good out of the situation is that you ended up being a mother or that you have another child. You know, you ended up being a mother again and you focusing on, on getting over this so you can come out again. You you over this. So you you, you want to just get over this so that you can finally like heal, you know. That's why you putting this whole situation on time out. Y'all y'all could. Yeah, like I said, you put this person out of your house or you moved and I feel like y'all just want a totally different fucking environment. You don't want to be nowhere near or smell. Like, even the down to the cologne, you don't even want to smell none of that shit about this person. Eggs in reverse. I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. Why am my stomach feeling bad? Oh my God. Like, please, Gemini. I really don't want to say that. Baby, I'm so sorry. Oh God, I don't even want to do this bread no more. Jesus. coming out oh. I feel like all of this drama made job y'all could have possibly lost the baby y'all could have possibly lost the baby because of all of this drama and you just you got several all ties with this motherfucker. It's just like, God, I feel sick to my stomach. Jesus, help me. I feel like y'all are angry. Yeah, bones. But you're indestructible. Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. Jesus, yeah. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so, so sorry, baby. God, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. I feel like some of y'all, like y'all might have already had kids, but maybe y'all might have lost the baby. Y'all might have lost the baby because you didn't sever this situation when you could have. Cause, and it was too much drama. I feel like it was too much drama on your pregnancy. and But you're indestructible. Like, you're not letting this. You're not, you, you, you still being strong. You know what I'm saying? You're indestructible. And or if y'all didn't lose a baby, I just feel like with this with these eggs and this incubation in reverse, like it didn't grow. Like it was infertile. Like it didn't. You know. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta keep going. Okay. Oh, here go the three of swords. Mm, mm, mm. My gosh, honey. Here go the. Oh, judgment. Everybody got an answer for everything. Everybody got an answer for everything. Y'all are being risen to answer for your sins, have it be good or bad. That's everybody. Everybody. Everybody, but it seems like I feel like y'all want judge, y'all want y'all. 
Y'all want this person to be judged. You want these, this person to be judged fairly. They go to double card and they go to tower card. You want this person to pay. You feel like you feel like this person. You see this energy of this man. Okay, you feel like this person. You want this person to pay for this shit. You want this person to answer for this shit. You want there to be justice. You like, dear God, like, I want whatever karma, good and bad. I want, I want, I want, I want, <laughs> I want there to be judgment for this. Like, this person needs to answer, even if I have to answer for whatever the fuck I done. But just every person involved, man, woman, and child, everybody. You see how she got the egg and you see how he got the skull. And you see how that's the child in the middle. Look what's behind him. This person's calling home. Listen. This, this person is calling on justice. This person is calling on justice. This person feels like they were preyed on. Like this person took advantage of them. And just wanted them to give to them. And looked at their environment and seen it as a come up for them. And this person was a fucking cheater. They felt like they were... They feel bound and, and trapped by this person's energy. Like they can't get away from them for some reason. And I feel like they didn't see this shit coming. Like I, they didn't see this coming. They didn't see none of this shit coming for whatever reason. Like, but I feel like somebody knew. Somebody knew who the fuck they was dealing with. Y'all knew who the fuck y'all was dealing with. Because the whole spread started off with the three swords. And there's two ace of pentacles in a reverse. So it's like it really didn't. It doesn't look like anything solid was ever really being offered or something like that. Like that's honestly what I'm feeling. I feel like this person was. This person is like a a serial cheater or something like that. And whatever was done, you and this person both got thrown out of the tower. So that's why I'm saying whatever God seen, the judgment that was granted, you 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 calling for justice. You see what I'm saying? And God heard you. Do you understand? And he was standing over y'all, looking at the whole situation. And he agrees. Yes, you were taken advantage of, but at the same time, I do feel like you had a part to play in this shit like that. I feel like you had a part to play in it because both of the people are thrown out of the tower. Because of whatever was seen. Do you understand what I'm saying? God sees all. See, on the other side, this is when God sees something and they're allowing the people to, they're allowing you to get away. You see what I'm saying? The chariots, those, those sphinx that, that drive the chariots, they're allowed to get away while they, God is destroying some shit. You see what I'm saying? Because you called for justice and God heard you. But like I said, everybody got to an answer for their sins. Everybody got to an answer for their sins. And for whatever reason... Whatever God seen, it's like, yeah, you trying to get away now, but you you not getting away for answering for your part. Do you see what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know. Y'all know. But you could have got this, you could have got this side of the card. That's why I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? That please don't think that I'm being mean. You could have got this side of the card. It fell on this side of the card. Everyone answered. Everyone. 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 No one was spared. No one was spared. Oh, God. 
And this five of cups is like you you still heartbroken. That's why I'm like, somebody, somebody got away and they found new love, and someone is heartbroken because this person left them. And that and the person that they're dealing with put them on timeout. And it's sending a whole bunch of mean messages to them and telling them that they focusing on themselves and they focused on their family and they going, you know. You see this? There's there's four cups knocked over. I feel like this person was just left with their self. Give me guidance and love. Give me guidance for Jim and I. I heard stop surrendering to this person. You're not using your free will to let go. You're not learning your lesson. All these in reverse. You still, like, stop devoting yourself to this person. Ooh. Destruction. Ooh. All this shit is in the reverse. God damn. Gemini. Come on, baby. Baby, listen to me. Stop surrendering and actually use your free will and get the fuck away from this person. Now I'm feeling like this person walked away from you and put you on timeout. And you're and you're left the parent. You know what I'm saying? Ever you like I feel like this I feel like this person walked away from you guys. And you're trying to heal from that heartbreak. And you just decided to move and you try to focus on loving yourself. And you and, 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 and anytime this person try to communicate with you, you you like I don't like fuck you. Like you end the communication. Or you trying to end communication. Cause you know it ain't going nowhere. And this person is a fucking narcissist. And you focus on the children that you focus on your children and healing. But you gotta really surrender to letting this shit go. Because it's like God feels like you're not surrendering and you're not using your free will and your lessons are not being taught because you still devoting yourself to this person. They want you to stop devoting your energy to this person. You're not using your free will and you're not surrendering to change. That's why it's like there's still this heartbreak there. Do you understand? Someone is not seeing the light. Someone is not seeing the light. This this message is for someone. There's some of you guys, like I said, there's some of you guys, y'all get it. And y'all found somebody else and y'all like, fuck this motherfucker. And then there's some people that are still destroyed. And it's like you need to like really look deep in the shadows to figure out like what you're feeling and what you're going through. And you need to like... You know, finish your shadow work. And I feel like some of you guys, that's what y'all have been doing. Because you're overfilling destroyed. You're overfilling the pain of this situation. And that's why I feel like emotionally you're trying to put this situation on timeout. And stop communicating with this person and focusing on your parents. And because I feel like this shit puts you in a dark, dark place. And you're trying to overcome whatever this energy or whatever this shit that is that you're feeling about this shit. And not feel so destroyed and just down about this shit. You overcoming that shit. And now that you dig deep and you're focusing and you're trying to heal, you know, you're able to finally see yourself right side up because I feel like this shit had you so this shit had you so fucked up, y'all. Like it really did. Like this person, you let this person in your house around your children. And this person just like straight disrespected you. They were a fucking drunk. A fucking narcissist. This person disrespected your house. A motherfucker had better not bought nobody in your motherfucker house. I feel like this shit did stress you out. And y'all could have passed someone. Someone lost the baby. What is this? Nine of Swords. Yeah, you still, you, you, you stay up late thinking about this shit. This shit gives you nightmares. You stay up late at night wondering who the fuck this person is fucking. 
That's why they trying to tell you stop devoting your energy to this shit. Because you ain't learning shit. Because you still wondering and worry about what this hot ass nigga is doing or whatever this, this, this girl is doing. You see that black cat? You feel... You, you feel like this person always sneaking around doing whole shit. Always stabbing you in your heart. Stabbing you in your heart. Stabbing you in your heart. And you can't stop. And you just can't stop thinking of everything that's happened. All of the people that this person has cheated on you with. You see all these women. The wheel of fortune. This person, Like I said, this person has cheated on you with about like three or four different girls. This person has bought you nothing but bad luck and just misfortune and you just tired. You ready for those days to be over. You 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 and another thing I feel like you the more and more the more and more you stress and you think about this, the more misfortune that you're bringing to yourself. And that's the lesson that you're not learning. That's what spirit is trying to tell you. You're bringing the misfortune to yourself because you won't stop thinking about this shit and let it go. The high refund, this person wanted you to. Like, y'all were in some type of, I don't know, like, maybe I was in an open relationship or some shit like that. This person never even thought about committing to you. The five of wands. Yeah, like, you were in, like, a fierce competition battle. Like, this person, this per like, it's like this person cheated on you almost blatantly in your face. And I, I really would not be surprised if this person bought someone in your house and fucked somebody in your house. The way this motherfucker go. Like this motherfucker don't have no morals. No respect. They don't believe in shit. They don't believe in marriage. They don't even. I don't even. I mean. I'm not going to say that they don't believe in God. But they don't have no like. Faith. Base. You know what I'm saying. Person probably don't go to church. Just don't believe in shit. Narcissist. Like. Real. Fucking jackass. And like you. You. Probably got into like fist fights with bitches. Fuck around with this motherfucker. You see, you do you see what I'm saying? Like this, you done caught this person ever in your house with somebody. You see this person like walking in on the person that they with fucking somebody, and you seen it. Ever you done seen this shit in your house? You done walked in, in and you seen this shit in your house. And or you didn't see the shit online or you don't see you you didn't see something, but you done been in some battles and you're not competing for this person no fucking more. You're not competing for this person no more. What is this? The six of pentacles. Yeah. You want someone that is going to give to you in the same way, you know, in fashion that you give to them. And it's like until that man, I can stroke my own titties. Like I don't know. No. It's like the merchant. Like, I give to who the fuck I want to give to. You know what I'm saying? And you see how this person is walking up on you and shit like that because they want you to give to them. Like, that's it. That's it. Y'all, I gotta go. So, I hope that this gave y'all some clarity. Now, you know what? I'm about to give y'all a little extra, extra. I'm about to give you the real tea about what the fuck going on with y'all shit because y'all shit, that was some straight bullshittity right there. Girl, give me the tea what's going on with Gemini, please. Jug. Says Jug, like-hearted and carefree time. I feel like you met this person out partying and shit like that. Or at a party or something like that. Dagger, fear, worries, and intense situation. Intense situation. Mm-hmm. I honestly feel like there was a dagger that was... Mm-hmm. Dagger, all right. Axe. Forces are working against you. Hmm. Target. Goal-oriented person. Hammock. Take a vacation ever physically or mentally. Yeah, I listen. I feel like, I honestly feel like this person got you drunk, got you high drunk out your head or had you high or something like that. Y'all was out drinking and you met this person and I feel like right now or oh, and or you have fears that this person goes out and cheats on you when they out hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have a lot of it's like a dagger in your heart and you just feel like this it, this person has other people in their atmospheres is working against you, you know, and this person is always has a new target. 
and I and you just want to take a vacation from this shit and you just don't want to deal with it no more. That's why you put that shit on time out. Like you just like, no, nah, I'm not dealing with that shit no more. Focus on my parenting. And you might have took a vacation just to get away from this bullshit. All right. So what is this? Wind chimes, peace and harmony. Yeah, you see, you went off. You moved and you found peace and harmony. Beetle, good fortune is coming to you, okay? Horse, it was a short journey. So I feel like y'all didn't move too far. Y'all didn't move too far. V, V for victory. What does it say? Victory in some endeavor. So I feel like y'all having success in moving. Like you end up finding a nice apartment. Finger, warning you of a problem ever now in the future. So there's a warning. So this is I psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Listen, trust your intuition. Nest and emotional, secure and loving family is yeah. There is a warning and a finger pointing towards a problem coming in the near future in regards to your nest, your home, candle. You will be shown the way to deal with this. Use your intuition. So you guys, that's the T. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like you guys have a lot of anxiety about this person when they go out and drink. I feel, yeah, the club. You feel like this person, when this person goes out, coins, money will be coming to you. But someone is going to try to make you do something against your will in regards to your coins. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like this person is around you just for your money. What is this? Scales. Keep your life in balance. Keep your life balanced, okay? Ants. You might be dealing with someone named Ants. I don't know. Whenever I see this, I always think like it's someone named Ants. You know, this might be someone that you met at work. It says achievements, success. This might be someone that you work, I mean, that you work with, that you met at work or... This might be someone that you met at work or while you were out somewhere achieving success while you were out doing something you were busy doing something and or the person's name could be ant as well um grasshopper i feel like there's coins coming to you in regards to work i feel like you're trying to balance things out in regards to work i feel like someone's going to try to make you do something that you don't want to do in regards to your coins and things would work and i also th feel like there's someone that's trying to balance something out with someone named ant um it says grass grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling it's something that has to do with your work environment and your coins that you're trying to get in back you trying to get balanced has something to do with your work and achievements. And someone is going to try to work you to get do something against your will. Butterfly. But this is a change for the better. Whatever this thing is a change for the better. Bat. Take care. Enemies are working against you. So I feel like there's somebody working against you um, at your job. At your job. It has something to do with your coins. Money will be coming to you. But someone... Is going to try to make you do something against your will. Okay. You need to be balanced. Keep your life balanced. In regards to work achievements and success. Because it's saying someone is working against you. Alright. Someone is going to try to make you do something against your will. Keep your life balanced. And. Okay. I feel like that is significant. Work achievement and success. Worker ants. Okay. Worker ants. Balance yourself. Grasshopper, again, situations in the balance that requires careful handling, but it's a change for a better. This is something about work. This is something about balancing something at work and someone working against you at work. And I feel like there's a busy ant working against you at work. Do you see what I'm saying? Is someone putting something together trying to get you to do something that you don't want to do? Is this take care? Enemies are working against you in work and achievements. You got to be balanced. Y'all pay attention. Listen, I love y'all. I hope that this, you know, gave y'all some insight. I hope that this gave y'all some insight. And um, if y'all want that reading that was called the T. Y'all focus on y'all parenting. I love y'all. I wish y'all the best, man. And if anyone lost a baby, I am so sorry. I'm going to say a silent prayer for you right after I get 
off of this. I'm sending love and light to all of my Geminis. I love you, love you, love you guys so, so very much. Please make sure that you are taking care of yourself. And if you are currently pregnant right now, please make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Do you understand me? Your baby is the most precious thing to you. Okay? Your baby is the most precious thing to you. And like it did say, you are indestructible. You remember that at all times. And even if there is a delay, listen, this just means a delay in your new beginnings. It doesn't mean it is not happening, okay? You focus on what you want your new beginnings to look like. Because like God said, you are the main woman, okay? Anything that is for you is for you. You got a brand new house. You got everything that you want. You on the right pathway. And that great fortune is coming to you. So focus on the right things. Don't focus on somebody that's not giving you nothing. And somebody that's taking advantage of you and your babies. You know what I'm saying? And your kindness and your generosity. Okay? I love you guys. Love and light. I will see you guys in June. Peace.